sometimes what we want to stitch from the internet is massive. In this particular case, I wanted to make a really detailed aerial shot of Melbourne. And if I went ahead and bought Google Pro, I imagine they'd let me download quite a good high-res picture. But I don't want to spend that kind of money. Instead, I've got Photoshop and Screen Grab. Here's the screen grab that I've taken of Melbourne, but the resolution isn't fantastic. So if I printed that out on my wall, I wouldn't be able to tell what all these buildings are. Here's the same area, but after lots and lots of screen grabs. The tricky thing is knowing how to stitch them all together. Well, the best way to do it is after hitting print screen and you get lots of layers in Photoshop, save each of those layers as a separate JPEG. And then what you do is you go up to Edit, sorry, File, New, Panorama. For Google Earth I use Reposition only because I don't want Google Earth to warp the pictures. Then I go to Browse. Now the problem here is if I was to ask Photoshop to stitch all of these at once, all 38 tiles, I could. I could select all of them and click OK, but then I'd have to come back maybe tomorrow or the day after because what Photoshop will, will start doing is swapping data in and out of files on the hard drive. And remember, you might be trying to process more than your Celeron or i3 can handle, so break that down into smaller steps. Now, the best way to do that is you can take Photo Merge Panorama, Reposition Only, Browse, and just take the first four images and stitch those together. Click on OK, and Photoshop will be able to stitch those together quite happily. What I've done is I've stitched, I'll just zoom in here for you, I've stitched screen grab 1, 2, 3, and 4 into a file that I've saved, collapsed it into one layer, and I've saved it as AO1. Same with 5 to 8, AO2, etc. You notice here on A10, there were only two files that were stitched together. The next step is to stitch AO1 and AO2 into a new file, BO1, and so on. And so on and so forth. BO1, BO2 becomes, are merged into CO1, BO3 and BO4 are merged into CO2, and then we have BO5 that doesn't have a partner to stitch to for now. But then we go to the next step, which is the finished product, CO1, CO2, and include BO5, and we'll get that end result, but at a fantastic resolution.